Most learners feel like they don't have the time to sit down and study English for two hours every day. They might not have the money or the time to invest in going to an English school, and a lot of those traditional courses aren't so effective. But it really does not need to be this way. So today, Kesenia and I are going to give you two simple study plans that you can start using right away. So, Ksenia, I'm going to let you do the honors in sharing our first study plan today. So, I came today with one of the study plans I actually had、uh, for one of my students who complains that, "Hey, Ksenia, I'm so easily get bored with the study routine, like when I have to do all those exercises and activities every day, just repeating day after day." So, I came up with a kind of a quest. I called it language extravaganza. <laughs> The main idea here is to change the activity every day, so it's very easy to、mm. adjust to our week. Learning can become so monotonous for many people if you are、exactly. just thinking about sitting down and studying a grammar book five days a week or seven days a week, and it can be very difficult to stay motivated. Too, it sucks the life out of the language, right? So, Ksenia, what happens on day one of your study plan? So, let's kick off the week with the power of music. And Monday will be dedicated to singing songs. Choose your favorite song in English, and besides of having fun and dancing a little bit, singing along, you will work on your pronunciation, because singing、uh, songs is one of the best ways to practice pronunciation.、Uh, and also, you will、uh, learn lyrics of co- of course, like learn some new vocab. You will also be tuning your ear to the rhythm of English language. All the time, I used to use it. A lot in our classes as a teaching tool, so it's great because you can combine it. You can combine the living part of it, the things that you enjoy, and turn that into a deliberate study tool. And it's so great for your muscles articulation because if you learn that song and then you sing it, you're really exaggerating those sounds. So you build those muscles for those difficult sounds. And Chiago and I recently did a lesson where we talk about how you can use music to improve your English. So if people need some more nitty gritty details. Of how they can do that, you can check out that lesson. What are those nitty gritty details? It's meticulous details. It's small details, right? Like very specific. Let's go then to Tuesday. Let's now practice also a little bit of our listening. So I recommend you choose your favorite podcast, or if you don't have your favorite podcast yet, yet choose Real Life app where you can listen to this podcast. Right? <laughs> I hope it becomes your favorite.、Uh, this day I would dedicate to only listening, really, and just writing down some of the words which, like you,、uh, have doubts about. Like you think, like you got them, but not really. You can go to Real Life app and check the transcript and some of the words which are defined in the flashcards. That will be like a bonus for today. But actually, that's what I suggest students、um, to do on Wednesday. So Wednesday will be the day where you will be deliberate, deliberately learning vocabulary. It may be vocabulary from、mm. the podcast you listened on Tuesday, and vocabulary from the song you sang on Monday. To continue to have this continuity,、nice. it's almost something you look forward to too. You're learning those words on Monday and Tuesday, and you're looking forward to already starting your study practice with them. So let's go to Thursday. Okay, so half of the week、uh, has passed. Maybe for some people like me,、uh, reading always, you know, soothes me, calms me down. So I suggest that Thursdays will be dedicated to reading. You can pick up your favorite English book and read from there. Also highlighting unknown words, but not looking them up yet, please. Just reading. Or if you don't have a book in English, or maybe you are not an avid reader, again go to Real Life app because the podcast. Remember, you listened podcast on Tuesday, <laughs> and on Real Life app you have the transcript. So this time you have the option to choose either to review it and again listen, but read along, or you can just click on transcript without the audio file, and you will just be reading the text, right? So you said two really nice words there: soothe. That reading soothes you, and you said something about being an avid reader. What does that mean? Soothe and avid. Okay, so soothe is to calm down.、Uh, it sets you in a peaceful mood. The second word for avid reader is the person who likes reading. You like read eagerly. So I'm itching to know what's on Friday, Ksenia. 
Oh, Friday is always a fun day. Fiesta, festivity. <laughs> I don't know how else. To... <laughs> oh, I like you know. And、uh, Friday should be fun, right? So,、uh, what can be、uh, fun? Watching movies. You're watching a movie, but you watch it in English, either with subtitles or without subtitles. If you want to get yourself prepared to watching some movie or get inspired, go to our YouTube channel, where we have. Lessons based on movies, different movies, right? And you can watch a clip from a movie, learn the vocabulary, and then find a full movie and watch it on Friday. Amazing! And what are our learners doing over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday? Okay, I'm, I'm a strict teacher. I don't, <laughs> I don't <laughs> let them, you know, rest on the weekend. <laughs> you had、But、your fun on Friday. Let's get to work. <laughs> Let's get to work.、Right? Uh, so weekend will we will also dedicate to English. But as we like to talk here to how to, we like to talk about real life way our methodology in real life English is that it's easier to learn a language when it becomes a part of your life, right? A part of your identity. So what you can do with Saturdays to make it easier? Because of course everyone is lazy on Saturday, me included. I really like to sleep. If you are lucky to have a hobby. Find a way to engage in that hobby, but in English. Like, let's say if you are really into cooking, so why don't you experiment with a different recipe, but find that recipe in English? So it will be kind of you are still working with your English, but it's such an, an easy and natural way to do、mm. that, right? Okay, so we are left with Sunday only, and again, Sunday is for fun. It shouldn't be something, you know. Drilling grammar rules or writing <laughs> sentences.、Uh, we should find an activity to work on your English on Sunday as well, and that would be speaking. Because if you remember now, all the days I've、um, suggested to you like reading, listening, writing, but there was no speaking. And Sunday can be your day for that. If you don't have a speaking partner, or if you Live in a small city where there is no like speaking clubs or exchange language programs. Again, go to Real Life app because there you can not only listen to our podcast, learn vocabulary, read the transcript along, but also you can practice everything you've learned during the week with another English learner from a different country. So we have this speaking feature where you would connect to a person and. Have some scripts. Have the a list of those words you've learned and try to use them in your conversation. If you feel not so confident yet,、uh, maybe really have the those sentences as、uh, in front of you, right, and use them as an example. What questions you can ask using those、uh, words, or what you want to talk about using those words, and that will be such a great wrap up of the whole week, and you feel. Really satisfied how like continuous it was and how fruitful it was because you see you you will see your result. I'm going to go through mine quickly because I believe people will see some overlap in different things. But this might be more for the learner who likes to get into their routine, doesn't like to have to think about what day it is and what am I supposed to do this day. They just want something that they get in the habit of doing it, and it's the same every day. So we have our different types of learners, right? I broke it up by what you're doing in the morning, the afternoon, and the evening. All of us should be engaging with the language we're learning several times throughout the day. So let's kick it off with you're waking up in the morning, and what are you going to do to get into your English? First off, you'll be spending around anywhere from 10 minutes to 45 minutes in the morning, depending how much time you have. You can expand or limit it. So first off is journaling. Journaling is a great habit. It Can really help you to clear out your mind, to be more ready for the day, to be more in touch with your emotions. So even if you do it in your native language, it's going to be something that could be life changing for you. But doing it in English, you kill two or more birds with one stone. So you can write just for five minutes if that's all you have. Write for five minutes. Don't think about it. Doesn't matter if you make gramma grammatical mistakes or spelling mistakes or anything like that. Just the point is to be practicing writing and getting whatever's in your brain out of your head. And if you need some help because you're just blank when you sit down, just start off with, "How do I feel? How are you feeling?" And the morning continues. You might finish your journaling, grab a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or whatever you prefer. 
sit down in a nice quiet corner of your house and let's change it up a little bit. You will we'll be doing some deliberate practice, but different days you can do this in different ways because that study time is important. So you could make it more fun using a tool like lyrics training. I used to use this a lot. You go to that website or app, look up a song and you have to fill in the blanks. And depending on the level that you have with that song, you can have to fill in more or less, but this is a great way to practice your listening and also to be learning vocabulary. Or you could be choosing something, maybe a grammar book. I used to always recommend and have my students buy English Grammar in Use. I think it's the best English grammar book out there, at least the one that's written in English. You could be studying a course online, uh, watch some YouTube video on something that you know that you're struggling with or anything else like this. But the idea is to be focused and studying deliberately something that you need to fill in the gaps of your learning. All right, so let's move into the afternoon. And here, you're just going to try to get some speaking practice in. Ksenia already mentioned our app where you can have these dynamic four to eight minute conversations. So you really have no excuse of, I don't have anyone to speak to. I don't have the time to have a conversation because even if you're just grabbing a coffee at work, you can find those four minutes maybe five, just to give a little bit of buffer in there to connect with someone and have a quick conversation, practice the things you're learning. Or you could uh, record yourself speaking. So Ksenia had mentioned, maybe you have the different vocab and things that you're learning. Maybe you have come up with different questions. These can actually be really great if you're scared about going to the app to speak is Think a little bit about what might come up in a first conversation you're going to have with someone. Practice some questions and answers that you might have to give and just record yourself. Get used to hearing yourself speaking. You'll be able to catch a lot of mistakes yourself even if you don't have a teacher. And now you're getting home from work. It's the evening. You're wanting to wind down, but still a little bit more that you can give to end the day strong. So I think it's really important that throughout your day, you carry a notepad if you're old fashioned in your pocket, or most of us have our smartphone, so you could be using a note taking app there. Have some place where throughout the day you're capturing new words that you encounter. If you're following Ksenia's plan or the plan that I'm proposing, all these different things you're doing throughout the day are opportunities to learn new words, expressions, collocations, and so on. So be taking note of those. So you might sit down in the evening and take the opportunity to look up some of these new words or expressions they use. But just having this little five to 15 minutes where you're engaging with the vocabulary that you learn throughout the day, is going to do wonders for you being able to actually activate it. So when you get in a conversation, when you have to give that presentation at work, it's there for you, ready to be used. Ethan, you used two words uh, or expressions which are opposite actually. One is to wind down when you have time to wind down and another is to do heavy lifting. <laughs> Those are Ooh. like contrasting activities. <laughs> Can you explain them? Wind down is a really nice phrase verb that means to relax, especially when you're comparing after a stressful day, you get home, you want to wind down. But before you wind down, you have your study. Heavy lifting, we can think about literally lifting something heavy is a lot of effort. So doing the heavy lifting is doing the hard effort that something requires. So dear viewer, dear listener, try out some of these things. Hopefully you've taken some notes today. You can mix and match, create your own thing. Maybe you want to take my proposal for the morning, afternoon, and evening and throw in Ksenia's proposal to change it up on different days. The really important thing is just to get to know what works for you and to experiment and to be getting in touch with the language every day and actually doing the things that help you to correct your mistakes and become a more advanced speaker, right? Oh yeah, global citizens. I just want to tell you, in case you don't know, that this lesson was taken from the Real Life English podcast. However, it was just a clip from the full episode. If you want to access the full lesson and learn even more with us, make sure you download the Real Life app. See you there.